Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of the Banner Saga. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you should join me today as I continue, as we continue, moving towards Schlid. Is it Schlid? No, we're going to rejoin, that's right. Going to rejoin, our supplies are dwindling. We have a lot of people though, and we have been doing generally well. Let's camp again, because our morale just dropped. Uh, yeah, I wasn't able to uh, bring, uh, level up any hero. Uh, yeah, there we go, good morale now. Let's keep going. Um, yeah, if I keep an eye on the morale, we should be okay. Deep inside the woods, you get the distinct sense that dredge have more or less surrounded you and in great numbers. Their dark shapes create unsettling patterns as they slide between the trees in every direction. At least it's not as bad as it could have been if you hadn't taken out a good portion of them already. You think to yourself, yes, yes, that's true. You call Moger around. Any ideas, Moger? Yeah. Pray to whatever god you like. There's more of them waiting on the other side of the woods than we've seen so far. We may be seriously outnumbered, especially if we wait. Irza appears unexpectedly. What if, she says, patting her arrows uh, knowingly, you could set a part of uh, the woods on fire to draw their attention while you escape or try to draw them into a trap? Was this your idea, you ask? She shrugs innocently. You consider your options. Okay. So we are outnumbered. We want to divide them. We really want to divide them. So we could fight our way out as usual. That's not going to go well. Um, I don't think. Uh, well, I don't think so. I'm not good enough at the game yet. I, yeah, I, I have made mistakes on battles prior to this. And I'm keep, I keep making mistakes. And the problem is, I don't see the mistakes. This last battle, I didn't see my mistakes. So, when I stop seeing my mistakes, when I know that I'm really, really in bad shape. Because... We couldn't have done that any better. I couldn't have done that any better. And I know there's a way. There's a way. That must be a way. We're playing on normal, I think. So, I don't even know if there's a... Yeah, we're playing on normal, right? Did we choose? Oh, there's a... Yeah, there's an, uh, an options in the in the menu. But, but so we could create a fire as a distraction. Draw, draw them out and set... Draw them out into the woods and set them on fire. Hmm... Yeah, if we wait, we're gonna... Yeah, let's draw them out into the woods and set them on fire. Let's see what happens. You create a line of, a line of shield bangers and unleash volleys of arrows in, in their direction, luring frustrated swaths of them into the trees. At your command, here's a fling flaming arrows into key locations. The trees erupt and fire spreads quickly. Many fall immediately, but the varls start to lose their nerve. Soon the caravan is in disarray, some fighting, others fleeing from the growing inferno. Here's a has vanished. Looting rushes past in a state of horror. You break from trees... Hoping to regroup. So we lost Varl right there. Where's Urza? Asks Ludin. Behind you, Varl are following your lead. Though not as many as you had hoped. The dredge, distracted by the fire, have thankfully not yet noticed your escape. Isn't she with you? Asks Moger. Don't... Did, it, did you make her do it? Where is she? I didn't make her do anything. It was her idea. Ludin stares into the flames, face blank. He's trying hard, he's trying hard not to show... Uh, what this means to him. A miserable moment lingers. We've got to get out of here, Haken. We brought mi we have we bought minutes at most. We don't know what sh that she's gone anyway. Maybe she'll catch up to us. Mogar gathers the others. Someone drags Ludin along against uh, his will, but you hear no outbursts or insults. It's almost worse that way. Okay, so he's not gonna fight for us. What is that gonna happen right now? And where's the forest fire? I wanted to see forest fires. It's not. It's nowhere. So we lost Varl in a fight in a fight against. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, that's not good. Okay, we could camp right now. Our morale. I think we lost morale as well. It wasn't just a Varl. Okay, there it is. Our morale is back up to good. Perfect. Just keeping the morale up is very very important, as always in everything you do and everything you have people do for you. You need morale, otherwise bad things happen. Yep. Okay, so I think we're reaching something. Yeah, it's, it's, doesn't look good. Let's camp again. We can. We have plenty of supplies. I think. Uh, yeah, let's rest again. It's just basically resting every day. One day of walking, one one day of staying still. Oh man, this is pretty. A thunderstorm though. Why is that like that? Who is this? Huh. Are these out? Is this a thing or is this just bush. I think these are guys. I think they might be hunters or poachers or something. Anyway, we're going into the city. Apparently this is the only way. It's a good protection though. Can I zoom in or zoom back? I can zoom in. 
Mm -hmm. So these are the yoks. That'll be like ox, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> no idea. Mm -hmm. Keep going on, guys. Don't hurry. It's not like we have people at home watching and waiting for you to do something. Yeah. Can I hurry this along? I can't. It's good, though. It's, uh, it, it builds atmosphere, I guess. Let us see. Okay. Uh, so it looks like the city is devastated. Oh, no, it's... Wait a minute. This is Ridgehorn. This is, uh, this was... Yeah, this was devastated. This was, uh, abandoned. So we're gonna fight Dredge from here, because apparently that's where they are coming from. We don't have a lot of Varl, and I am thinking we're gonna need to fight a lot. Hopefully she comes back, though, Irza. I wonder what she has done. I wonder why she left, though. That makes no sense. Made no sense. Why did she leave? Hmm. What is this mess about? Asks Moger. Look like a looks like a full scale battle happened and recently, but only dredge bodies remain. Says Ubin. Maybe we'll see something from the tower. Evarl search the buildings and make sure there's no dredge waiting to spring on us, on it, and don't set up camp or make fire. We'll take a look and then go get out of here before anything else goes wrong. You mean more wrong? Asks Ludin. Yeah, more wrong. It's an adventure, man. It's just an adventure. So, yeah, let's look at the tower. Yeah, I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Look at the, look at the stonework. It's so smooth. I think it might be the art style, though, because look at here. Yeah, it might be the. But it's a big tower. It's a big, big tower. Let's see. Oh. We're going for a battle. Fine, I guess. Did we have ears, by the way? I, I, I saw... No, I don't think we did. Okay, we're ready. So who are we fighting right now? We're fighting five guys. One a big... Oh, this guy's strong. Mm-hmm. That's going to be a little bit of a maneuvering situation right there. And we have cracks in the field. So what we're going to do... So that we're gonna hang back as much as possible and try to make sure that they don't uh, injure us too much. Send you over there, send you over here, you stay over there as a backup, as a reserve. That's the word, that's the word. Okay, so you're staying here, we got plus one willpower because we are in good morale, so you're gonna rest. See what these guys do, they're gonna be able, not gonna be able to attack from there, which is perfect. That this guy is gonna move very very slowly. We are gonna rest. There we go. Okay, this guy's gonna move in here. He's not gonna be able to attack, I don't think. They're very slow though. Oh, he's got. Uh, yeah, yeah. We are, we're fighting four guys, five guys. I mean. Okay. Uh, think we could move there and wait. So they still can't attack from there. Hmm. It's a game of cat and mouse right now. Oh, he's gonna attack. Okay. Did he miss? Oh, there we go. One health damage. That's okay. That's okay. The thing is, as soon as I move... Uh... Okay, I think he's gonna be able to move in there. Okay, I think so. Hope so, anyway. Uh... Yeah. He should be able... If he moves there... Problem is gonna yeah he's not gonna be able to move, so I want let's, let's do this. Let's do this. So I got ten health. There we go. So he's dead. Not needed to move in through here. Okay, so these guys are uh, bringing in the force through here. That is totally okay. How much damage am I gonna do? Six. He's got eight. So he's got uh, zero exertion. Why do we have zero exertion? Did I forget about you or something? He's got zero exertion. Damn. What happened to you? Did I screw things up with him or something? Hmm. It's kind of a shame. I don't really know what what's going on. Okay, let's work on him. So he's not going to do any damage apart from armor damage. He's going to do damage there, but that's okay. I'm going to move in with him. Uh, that guy's going to be a big, big problem. Big, big problem. Let's move you f there. Yeah, so let's not rally anybody. You stay here. You're good. That guy is totally, totally screwed by his teammates. That's totally okay with me. Let's move you there. 
And end your turn. Yeah, this guy needs to go. That guy needs to go. He didn't attack from there, surprisingly enough. So yeah, flanking them might not be... Okay, another health damage there. Okay, keep moving. Uh, he's gonna kick your ass so hard. Really hope he doesn't, though. <laughs> really hope he doesn't. Um, let's end the turn there. Okay, so he's coming. Is he coming this way? He's not. Damn it. And I can't really go there. That was... Okay, move here. End your turn. Okay, they are there. They keep attacking him. Which is not good, but I will be able to kill him. I will be able to kill him if I go here. I want to be... I don't want to be there. Let's, go, let's do this. Uh, let's kill him. There we go. Now he's down. Okay, he got a promotion as well, which is awesome. Okay, that's fine. He's not that strong anyways. I mostly use him for... For the break. Hmm. Okay. Move you very slowly up the field. Yep, I'm gonna need to retreat from there. Stay there. Yep, I'm gonna need to just... Either he's gonna die or I don't really know what's gonna happen right now. Uh, so you stay there, end your turn. Okay, so move in. And end the turn. He's gonna move in. Hopefully he doesn't kill him. And he does. Oh, of course he does. So, rush, rush, rush. Because these guys are gonna kick our ass. This guy's gonna kick our ass. Nice deflection right there. Let's see, my brick is terrible. My strength is terrible. I'm not gonna be able to do anything here. So I will just wait, I think. Mm -hmm. Wait. So he's gonna move in, break my armor probably. Oh, that was a one... Oh, damn it. He's not in a good position. That's my bad. That's my bad. Okay, bye. Jesus, that guy's terrible. I'm gonna need to move in with these guys. Okay. Let's see what he does. I want him to move in. I. Uh, this is bad. This is bad. Okay, so what's his range right now? Not that good. So you're gonna stay here. Actually, you're not gonna stay there. You're gonna move. Well, actually, is his range? He might be able to attack that guy. Let's uh, try to kite him a little bit, but not too much. Can't really do much with that. So let's just stay here. See what he does. No, damn it! He's gonna attack. That was my. That was. That was bad. That was really bad. That was awful. Damn it! How the hell am I supposed to? The problem is I have so many, I can And the positioning, uh... So he's gonna die, basically. Oh, he's going for me! <laughs> How the hell am I supposed to get through here? That guy's killing everybody! How the hell? Sorry about the mop on the microphone. This is a terrible battle here. I could run away. And I will. There's no point in standing there. It's just gonna kill me. Okay, so things are looking a little bit better. Not by a huge amount, but a little bit. But it's not enough, though. Just gonna kick our ass. It's just not... Doable. This battle is terrible. How am I gonna? Oh, nice deflect though. I need to work on him. Uh, got willpower still. It's it's death. It's death. That's what happens here.
Damn it. <laughs> I'm really thinking about my options here. It's not... I don't... I don't know. I don't know. How the hell am I supposed to win this battle? I'm not gonna win this battle. This guy is too strong. This guy is just too strong and if he deflects now... I got five damage there. I got one damage there. I don't think you can win this. Nice deflect there, though. I don't believe we can win this. Need to do the maximum amount of damage I can. Now he's dead. If we win this, then that is gonna be amazing. Oh, nice armor damage right there, man. I don't think we can win. Is this winnable? I think so. I believe so, yeah. Yeah, it's winnable. Oh, how the hell did we rescue it? How the hell did we rescue it? Ah! Oh, man. Oh, man. We rescued it! It's gonna be, it's still, it's, yeah, it's gonna depend on him guiding us and all that, but he's gonna die, the poor, the poor sod, he is gonna die, there, man, this was a terrible battle, I, I'm sorry, I was just, I'm sorry for being so silent, but, yeah, I, yeah, but, I couldn't really, I was just looking at the numbers, just piling up everybody, Taking a huge amounts of damage and oh, you lean on a crumpled wall, watching endless waves of dredge marching below. Satisfied, Haken? Mogur asks. The vast number of dredge remind you of the great wars. I've seen enough. You reply. Let's get out of here. Mogur stands over the bodies of the men and women, uh, of the man and woman. What is that? I think the slag came up here. Oh, it's like two guys. There are two bodies. I don't know. I think the slag came up here for these two. Asks Moger, waving his bloodied hand, uh, bloodied weapon, the their direction. Any idea who they were? The man is dressed in light clothes, uh, unfit for travel in the north. The woman wears an ornate but simple robe and shawl. No, but something wrong about this, says Moger. He pauses, then puts his ear to the man's chest. This one's still alive. The girl is not. The clang of metal reaches you from the courtyard below, muffled by a thick snow, you curse. Quick, back down, bring the live one. You, s you skip stairs as you descend, shouting orders to the viral below. Dredge line the battlefield, weapons drawn, a fight seems inevitable. You take a quick hack count, oh, this is good. So 778 of them against 883 of them, let of us, uh, plus the fighters. So, even from here, you can see Nervous Lances, of course. Let's hold them off. You consider making a wall and... Okay, so this explains our approach. That's good. Can I click there? Okay, so hold them off. Let's see. You consider making a wall and skirting the battlefield, buying enough time for you to help the weak and the wounded make their escape. Sorry. Sorry about that. Just a bit hickey up. Hickey right now. It's a risk. Your warriors will take a... Brunt of the attack, but it might it may save more lives in the long run. Let's rethink our approach. Uh, formations. So you start considering weaknesses and strengths, taking into uh, account terrain, morale, and look to you, of your enemy. If you're careful, you should be able to keep your forces balanced. I think this might be the the best one. Uh, so what's the other one? Retreat. You seriously considering what you're about to do? As the caravan flees, it will undoubtedly take heavy losses. The enemy is sneaking at your heels. On the other hand, sometimes escape is the better plan than a complete massacre. Yeah, that's not what's gonna happen right now. We need formations. So, that's not gonna save lives, but it's gonna make the fight a little bit better for us, and we need that. Because our allies are all wounded. All of them. All of well, except for him. Uh, yeah. Let's see. So, we got 9-12 right there. So, not, sorry, not, that's not the one. We got... Uh, does that take into account the wound? Hmm. Haken. Yeah, I think I think even though I think we can I think we can win this, yeah. I believe so. I can promote him, so let's do so. Yes. 
and bring his uh, shield up. Because he's going to be the front of our attack. Let's see if I can promote anybody else. That would be Haken or Gunnolf. Honestly, I think Haken is very well balanced right now. Gunnolf needs a little bit more strength. So let's promote him. There we go. And No, actually, he needs a little bit more... I could go with defense or I could go with strength. Let's go with... Yeah, let's go with strength for right now. Uh, so can he... Uh, can he level up? I, oh, their maximum rank is level 4. Okay, level 5 actually, rank 5. Okay, so now I know. Now I know. Uh, so we're good, I think. Yes, as good as we are ever going to be. So let's ready for battle. Let's see what my... Oh, okay, 4 guys. It's not too bad. We can do this. We can do this. Uh, so let's see. Everybody is ready to go. Everybody's very injured as well. That's a big, big problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait for them set you up right there set you up right here and uh, set you up uh, there and you go there and you go here and you go I think maybe there or over here we'll see we'll see how it goes <sighs> okay so wait for them rest our morale is good so that's plus one willpower uh, let's wait for them rest see what they do Okay, so you got to move in a little bit. Now, uh, you're going to move in a little bit. That guy, what's his range? That's pretty good range. Let's move you there. Actually, that was a bad move, I think. He's going to attack him. Uh, yeah, I think he's going to attack him. If I move him forward, though, he won't. But I could go. I could attack him right now. Uh, and try to break his shield or his web, his armor. Yeah, that might be the be a good choice right here, because we are lacking in strength. So uh, let's see. So what's gonna be the next guy to attack? It's gonna be him, right? Yeah, and then it's gonna be him. So he's not gonna be a trouble. He's gonna be some trouble though. So since he's not gonna be able to do much, I will just move in there. And I will end the turn. See what he's what he's doing right now. Little bit of strength damage. That's totally fine as long as he's alive. Uh, so he, well, that's that's good. If I move here, I'm gonna be able to attack him and do a little bit. Actually, I could attack him and just basically almost kill him. Let's see what happens because he's gonna need to go for my armor. Uh, move there and uh, end your turn. Yeah, he goes for my armor for three. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Pretty good attack this guy has. Uh, I'm gonna need to go for his armor as well. I'm pretty good at that as well. So let's go there and attack him for four on his armor. There we go. Okay. Let's see what he does. He's gonna. Yeah. Okay. So if I go there what's your ability that's the tempest so if I go here I'm gonna be able to use the tempest and kill this guy and deal one damage oh three damage actually to that guy that's not too bad it's not too bad I can do this actually I can use three and did I hurt my own friend I don't think I did okay so I could move in I could try to break shields and weapons and whatnot I think it might be a better choice to do that so this guy's gonna attack next. I'm gonna try and do this while I still live, which might not last for very long. Let's see what happens. Okay, one health. It's not too bad. It's actually quite quite reasonable. So if I go here, I will be able to break his shield a little bit. Hmm. Let's see what he does. He does five health damage or strength damage. So I need this guy dead as soon as possible let's see what this guy does mm, not too bad not too bad uh, let's move you here yeah moving around with varl is really really slow mm, one damage there that's good now what can you do haken you can attack that guy need an extra one right there okay okay the flag right there perfect now you are going to be able to, well, not kill this guy, certainly, but injure him. 
in a fair manner. Actually, you can't move there. Why can't you move there? Why? Who's the... Oh, that's that's him. Um, so let's do that. Mm -hmm. To bring his damage down a little bit. Still going for my armor, though, but that's totally understandable. Now, I will go for his own... Actually, I can't really attack from here. Uh, I can do one damage to each. That's bad. That is bad. If I had willpower, that'd be a good thing, but let's just move you around and attack this guy. Actually, I could break him right there. There we go. It's gonna be make things a little bit better for me. A deflect there. That's good. Uh, break him right there. Now, of course, it's gonna kill me now. Uh, nope. Oh, yeah, he wouldn't be able to get some of the armor. That's right. So, this guy's dead. I got a promotion. This guy's not gonna be able to do much. A deflect right there. Perfect. You are gonna stay back here. Mm hmm. Stay there. Now, this guy goes for a deflect. Amazing. So, I need him to stop attacking me. He's still going for the flex. It's kind of weird that he's going for health. He should be going for armor, but I think they might... I don't know. Let's look at ours. Yeah, okay. So we are in a good position here. Um, so... Attack him. There. We are in a good position. I'm not sure if there's going to be another attack after this battle. Hopefully not. Okay, so this guy needs to die. I think we should be able to kill him. Yes. Yes, we are. There we go. And now this guy's going to attack for... Oh, deflect. Pretty good. I'm going to be able to do... I'm going to be able to kill him. Basically. No, actually not. Huh. Okay. And... Oh, yeah. So he's dead. Good. You take a moment to survey the battlefield. Yes, there's going to be another battle, but we're not going to take it. Uh, the enemy is being pushed away. I can... Uh, so you can take the opportunity to... No, nope, I'm going to pull back before they regroup. The dredge give you a wide berth and scatter into distance. And we lost two fighters and 17 virals. So, all in all, an amazing victory. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah. All good. No injuries. That was... That we were very, very... In a very bad position there. But we got... We gained renown. We gained a promotion as well. What's going on? I ask. I had one eye on the fight. Next time I look down, dredge are swarming into the courtyard. Can't tell how many more are waiting out there. But it's a lot says Moger. If we're getting back across the bridge, it'll be a fight. Any options? Not really. Unless you want to wade into that valley, we're going to have to leave the same way we came in. Haken, I think you should take a look at this, says Yubin. Nearby, the man had been the man had been bundled and laid near a short wall protected from the wind. I think this man is a mender. That rage has more questions than it answers. What of it? asks Ludin. The spellweavers? In Ridgehorn? Why? Maybe they knew something about what's happening. If he's going to tell us anything, we need to get out of here alive. Yeah, but first we need to rest. I agree. Let's uh, decide how we're going to defend this dump in case they attack again. Each day we wait here, the dredge are going to pile up. How many will there be tomorrow? Double? What about the next day? Uh, look, it's your call, Haken, but we can't just cut and run on this one. There's one way out. If Varl fall, if anyone falls fighting here... They'll be left behind. Yeah, we wait now. Let's make this place defensible. All right, I'll spread the word and meet the, meet you back here soon. Yeah, we need. Uh, we, can, we can afford. I think there are not going to be too many of them. We can afford to wait. We'll set up a watch, says Moger. Who knows what the dredge will do in the meantime? Might try to starve us out or wear us down. Might try to hide their numbers. What he wanted us to do. So. Uh, so yeah, keep focus on getting everybody rested and ready. Will do. When you're ready to leave, give the word. Until then, I'll see to it that everyone is in fighting condition before we make our escape. And there we go. I think that's gonna be our stand for right now, and the end of the episode as well. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been the Banner Saga. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.